is defined as a feeling of agitation and anxiety caused by the presence or imminence of danger. Now, whether it's a ghost, a spirit, or an entity, they all feed on it. Like take Maurice here. He's a French-Canadian farmer, had nothing more than a third-grade education, yet after he was possessed, he spoke some of the best Latin I'd ever heard, sometimes backwards. He'd been molested by his father, who had also tortured him repeatedly. A dark spirit made its home in this man. Now, if you look into his eyes, you can see him tearing blood. <laughs> and like that, an upside-down cross started to appear from within his body. All right, Drew, you can hit the lights. Oh. Did you personally perform the exorcism? No, I'm not authorized, but I've assisted on many. See, an exorcism can be very dangerous, not only for the victim, but for anyone in the room. So what happened to Maurice? Well, he tried to kill his wife, but instead he shot her in the arm and then he turned the gun on himself. Maurice had a very troubled life with little to live for, and not even an exorcist could bring him back. Which brings us to the three stages of demonic activity. Infestation, oppression, and possession. Now, infestation, that's, that's the whispering, the footsteps, the feeling of another presence, which ultimately grows into oppression. The second stage. Now, this is where the victim, and it's usually the one who's the most psychologically vulnerable, is targeted specifically by an external force. Breaks the victim down, crushes their will, and once in a weakened state, leads them to the third and final stage, possession. <laughs> 